It was 1953. I was 19 years old, having worked in a clothing factory since leaving school. It was interesting but boring. The girls around me were getting married and returning to work. I wasn't prepared to do that. I wanted to see life before I settled down. I didn't have money to travel, so I did the next best thing and joined the forces. Sat exams at Newcastle. Passed. Left home January 1953. Boarded a train with two other girls for London. What an adventure. We were joining the Queen Alexander's Royal Army Nursing Corps. We made our way to Lipok and Surrey, where we spent three months on basic military training and nursing lectures. It was difficult at times, and the weather was severe, but we got through it. I passed, but decided to go into dental work. I had no school exam papers, so I was made up to Lance Corporal and looked after new intakes and attended lectures on three general subjects in the evening, which I passed. I was reduced to private and posted to the British Military Hospital in York. I enjoyed my work and made new friends, but York was rather dull and everything closed down by 5.30. I was taken aback on one occasion when I was summoned to appear in front of the commanding officer and charged with not saluting the matron who was driving her own car. I was charged and sentenced to three days confined to barracks. This was the weekend that my boyfriend, who had flown from Egypt, where he was serving in the Scots Guard, was to visit me. I had to send a friend to the station to meet him. I arranged for him to stay at my sister's, who lived in York. We spent the days in the barracks. He proposed to me in the officer's waiting room. I accepted, and he presented me with the ring. We then went home on leave. Women, well, not dental nurses, were sent abroad, and I was very anxious to go. Eventually, the senior officer got me a posting to Germany, and so another adventure. August 1954, I had to report to the depot, given papers, and sent on my way. It was very daunting being on my own, but I did find my way to Harwich and then on to the ship. I was shown down to the very lower deck, where I met three WRAF girls. We were to share a cabin. We were not allowed to leave the lower deck, and we were very hungry. We slept well and docked at the Hook of Holland. Found my train, and it was so different, given breakfast, coffee, and lunch. The journey took about seven hours, but the scenery was wonderful. Arrived at Munster early evening, waited on the platform, and watched this male corporal pacing the platform. I asked him if he was looking for me. He didn't expect to be meeting a female for the dental centre. I spent nearly a year and a half in Germany, enjoyed it all. I took various exams and reached substantial corporal. I had leave due, so was demobbed mid-December 1955. I was married on the 31st of December.